Hey video creators, in this video I prepared 5 quick and easy title animations that you can create in Adobe Premiere Pro. And to start with, the first one will be the flip animation. Go to the effects library panel, grab the 3D effects and apply it to your title layer. Then go up to the effect control panel and create a keyframe on tilt with value 0. Then I'll move the cursor a few frames forwards and increase the tilt value 4 times or something. Select the first keyframe, the right button of the mouse and ease out. Then select the second keyframe and ease in. Next open the tilt properties and grab the right handle and drag it all the way to the left. And then grab the left handle and drag it all the way to the left as well. And by doing this we have created a smoother animation like this one. And next time if you want to make this animation quicker, you can go to the basic 3D, click with the right button of the mouse and save this as a present. Moving to animation number 2 which I named up and down, I'm gonna go to the effect control panel, open the text properties and click on to the rectangle mask. This will create a mask onto the program monitor but as you can see it doesn't cover the whole title and we need to do a little bit of adjustment. I'm gonna select the top and the bottom left corners of this mask by holding shift and while holding shift again I'll drag it to the left so we can create a straight line like that. Then I'll do exactly the same with the right hand side. And once we've done with the mask I'll move back to the effect control panel and scroll down to position. From here I'm gonna create a keyframe and drag the text below the mask so we can hide it. Then I'm gonna move this keyframe at the beginning and create a second keyframe but this time we're gonna review the text. And now I'm gonna select the second keyframe, press ctrl and c, move few frames forward and press ctrl and v so we can paste it over here. Then I'm gonna move few frames forwards again, select the first keyframe, ctrl and c and then ctrl and v. After that I'm gonna move back to the mask and decrease the mask feather and now when I played from the beginning we have created the up and down animation. For animation number 3 which I named zoom in and out, make sure that the anchor point is exactly at the middle of the text. Then move to the effect control panel and scroll down to the scale. Create a keyframe and decrease the scale to 0. After that move the keyframe at the beginning and create a second keyframe but this time increase the scale to something like that. Then I'll select the second keyframe, Ctrl and C, move few frames forward and Ctrl and V. Then I'll select the first keyframe, Ctrl and C, few frames forward and Ctrl and V. And like that's animation number 3 it's done. Going to animation number 4 that I named the twirl, again make sure that the anchor point is at the middle of the text. Then move down to the effects library panel and grab the twirl effect. Apply it to the text layer and move up to the effect control panel. From here I'm gonna go down to twirl and create a keyframe onto the angle and also increase 4 times the value. Then I'll move this keyframe at the beginning and create a second keyframe by resetting the values down to 0. And ladies and gentlemen that's the twirl animation. And coming to animation number 5 that I named the spin, again we'll be using the basic 3D effects. I'll drag it over the text layer and then move up to the effect control panel. From here I'm gonna create a keyframe on swivel which I'm gonna drag at the beginning of the text layer. Then I'm gonna increase the swivel value 4 times or something and move the keyframe few frames forward like that. And when I play it We've got already a nice animation but we can make it a bit better by adding motion blur tweets. To release I'm gonna go back to the effect library panel and type down directional. I'll grab the directional blur and apply it to the text layer and again I'm gonna go back to the effect control panel. From here I'm gonna create a keyframe onto the blur leg and increase the value up to 50. Also I'm gonna change the direction and go to 90 degrees. Then I'm gonna move this keyframe at the beginning and also I'll move the cursor a few frames backwards to somewhere over here. And then I will create a second keyframe but I will reset the value to zero. And when I play it we've got this amazing spin animation. Also if you want to learn how to create cool transitions and amazing effects in Adobe Premiere Pro you can check these two videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.